All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Little Steakhouse for today's lunch with Coach Monty Coleman, broadcasted live on 89.7 KUA, KUAP. If you have any questions for Coach Coleman or the players, you can give us a call at 870-575-UAPB or 870-575-8272, or you can hit us up on Twitter at UAP, UAPB Lions Roar. This past Saturday, the Golden Lions... Whoa. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I recorded the wrong script. This past weekend, the Golden Lions had a bye weekend, and this week they will travel to Grambling, Louisiana and take on Grambling State University in a 2 o'clock start for their second of four homecoming games this weekend. At this time, we ask the players to introduce themselves to the audience, starting with Mr. King. I'm Avante King. I'm a freshman or a sophomore. Player I receive, can return upon return. Number 24. Mr. Rucker? Uh, Kevin Rucker Jr., number 22. I'm a red shirt junior from Tulsa, Oklahoma. <clears throat> All right. At this time, we ask the players to give opening comics, talk about the bye week this past weekend, and talk about playing Grambling this upcoming weekend. Mr. Rucker? Uh, the bye week is just extra time to prepare for Grambling and uh, what they like <clears throat> to do. Uh, we had a good bye week, good practices. And um, we're getting prepared this week. Got to have more good practices and positive up-tempo. And uh, do the best we can this weekend and give, put more effort and uh, do the best we can. All right, Mr. King. The ball week was nice. Got a lot of film in. Was able to get a little extra time in the gym, working out. A lot of studying for this upcoming game. All right, at this time, we'll have opening comments from the talk dog himself, head coach, Monty Coleman. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming out again this week uh, here at Little Steakhouse on the Fink Tony for hosting us again. Uh, before I get started talking about football, I want to, on behalf of uh, Coach Jones, my offensive coordinator, just want to thank everybody for their prayers, uh, for their concerns, uh, for their letters and cards and stuff. Uh, doing a very, very trying time. Uh, Coach Jones is a, a professional. Uh, he is back in the office. He's getting the offense prepared for Grambling this week. He was back uh, this Monday. Uh, it's been hard for him uh, being in the office, but uh, being the professional that he is, um, he, he's making it through. So I just want to thank everyone out there, all the Golden Lion family, for, for your prayers. Uh, with Coach Jones and his family. Continue to pray for him, please. Uh, we had a, a very good bye week. Uh, we got a lot, a lot of things accomplished. Uh, we went back to basics. Uh, we started working the first team against the first team, and not so much on Gremlin stuff, but on just us, trying to make sure that we got all of our coverages down. We, we got a little more fam familiar with some of the things that we do on offense. And uh, it was just a week about us. And uh, we were able to, um, to uh, prepare for, for us in preparation for the game coming up. Uh, there was, we did have a break on Friday. Uh, Coach Jones' son's funeral was on Friday. Mr. Hardy, the athletic director, uh, Roger Totten, strength conditioning coach, and all the, the uh, football coaches did go down to Huntsville uh, to attend this young man's home going. And uh, we got back uh, on Saturday. and. Um, excuse me, on Friday evening, and I uh, was able to uh, once again pick up on, on, on Grambling. Uh, this week is going to be a tough week. Yesterday it rained. We, we spent a lot of time on the board watching film and putting up plays on the board. Uh, we will go out today. Today and tomorrow is our two hard days uh, in preparation for Grambling. Grambling is a very, very explosive uh, football team. They're, they're number one on the west in the SWAC. Uh, they've got the best record with a 4-0 in the SWAC right now. Uh, they're playing extremely well uh, on offense. Uh, they're, they're about 50-50 run pass. They're not making the mistakes that they have in the past. Uh, they've got a young man by the name of Williams that's quarterback in form, and he's doing an outstanding job. DJ uh, Williams uh, hurt his knee, and I'm not sure that they have that two-man rotation this week. Um, but, um, you know, we're preparing for both. Uh, on defense, they're a little undersized, but what they do is they swarm to the football. They have a great attitude. 
They play as a team on defense, and they run to the football. Their special teams have, have run some gimmicks against other teams. They had a block, excuse me, they had a uh, fake um, uh, punt against Alcorn. Uh, they will give you the swinging gate on extra points and field goals. So they're being very uh, unique on, on special teams. So overall, Coach Dooley, Coach Fobbs, Fobbs uh, is doing a great job uh, with this team. And it's going to be a great, great game for us. One that I feel confident that we can go down if we play our football game, that we can come out with the victory. And uh, it is their homecoming, so we know they're going to be riding high and uh, playing on all cylinders. So the thing that we've got to do is allow, don't allow them to match us in our intensity. All right, at this time, we open it up for Q&A. We ask that you please raise your hand and be recognized. Mr. Morrell. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, Coach, uh, you've had a chance to work with Eric Dooley for three years, and now he's offensive coordinator at Grambling, and he seems to be making a well of a difference over there. Just talk about the impact that he can make on a football team, especially uh, this Grambling State team that I'm pretty sure he's, uh, he was very familiar with before taking that job. I, I think it's, it's very obvious, I see. Uh, Grambling since 2011, they won the SWAC championship in 2011. Mm -hmm. 12, they came back, maybe one one victory. 2013, yeah. maybe two victories, uh -huh. and now they're undefeated in the SWAC right now. Yeah. And I think a lot of it has to do with the ability of the coaching ability of Coach Dooley mm -hmm. and uh, Coach Fobbs. Uh, they're, they're doing an outstanding job with the offense. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he's spreading the football around. Uh, they've got very talented receivers. And they will run the football. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the same thumbprint that we saw here when Coach Dooley was here, he's went down and pretty much perfected it with the Grambling Tigers. And I think that's the reason why they're being successful, partially because of Coach Dooley, but definitely because of Coach Fobbs. Is, is it any easier or is it any harder to prepare for Dooley's offense, especially since uh, you've had a chance to work with him? We, 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 we were successful, I, I think, uh, at least 51-49 in practices against Dooley's offense. Some days he won, some days he, we won on defense, yeah, I'm saying. Sure. So um, we're very familiar with what he wants to do. I think he's going to uh, present us with the hurry up offense, what he calls racehorse, yeah. where he, he don't huddle. Uh, they'll just come out and they'll line up and they're ready to go with the next play. And it's real, real fast. So the thing that we've got to do is make sure that we can get our substitutions in on those plays and um, be ready to play when they're ready to play. But uh, uh, as far as playing against Coach Dooley, I think it's going to be a very good challenge for our defense, and I think it'll be a good challenge for his offense against our defense. What surprises you the most about Grambling State? That they're 4-0. <laughs> <What's, laughs> what surprises you about the fact that they're 4-0? <laughs> well, <clears throat> you know, and, and I, I'm proud for Dooley. I, I really am. Uh, Coach Dooley, uh, the, 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 the time we spent together, uh, even when he was at Southern, uh, we became good friends. And you always want to see good friends uh, succeed. Now, yeah. the conversation that he and I had uh, before the season started, that I wish him the best yeah. in all of his games except uh -huh. one, <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. which is against yeah. us. <laughs> and uh, I, I still feel yeah. the same way. Yeah. Gotcha. You know, uh, gotcha. I want to win this football game. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the, the, the thing that – that surprise, it's not really a surprise. Coach Dooley's a great coach. Uh -huh. uh, they've got great personnel down there. It was just a matter of, of gelling as a football yeah. team, and that's what they've done. Yeah. Um, we, we've got to be on our A game when we mm -hmm. go down this weekend yeah. in order to walk out of there with a victory because Gremlin right now is probably playing the best football in the swag. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, um, I know defensively it's been challenging, uh, giving up, uh, you know, what, 42 and then 34, I think, and then uh, – this last time around, 50-something points. But in the three years that I've covered UAPB versus Grambling, it's been a defensive battle. Does that give you uh, any uh, confidence? Do you see that as a good omen going into this ball game? Uh, yes, sir. I feel like uh, as long as we execute and do what we need to do and uh, not have any big plays, lim uh, limit as many big plays as possible, then it could be a, a very good game. Mm -hmm. uh, what have you seen in your defense uh, that uh, over the first three conference games that you know you guys are going to have to change against uh, Gremlin State and and uh, you know how comfortable are you uh, trying to uh, 
you know, from a passing standpoint, put some pressure on the targets that Williams is going to turn to? Uh, I would say, uh, again, I would say limit, uh, eliminate as many big plays as possible and uh, run to the ball. We've got to gel together and we have to run to the ball and make, and make plays. It all uh, comes down to making plays. Right, right. Um, that's pretty much all I have. I'll say my fun take for the one, one of my one ones. <laughs> Are there any more questions for Coach or the players? Yes, sir. Coach Bubba Pettigrew, uh, hey, Bubba. avid fan. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, a couple of things. Number one, uh, knowing that Dooley has coached, I think, was it two years? Three. Three years uh, uh, at UAPB. You know, he's very familiar with our defense. Is there anything that can happen to surprise him? Uh, you know, like I, in your playbook, you know how thick your playbook is. I hope that there are some sets of something that at times, just like he'll pull the swinging gate mm -hmm. uh, to surprise a, a defense, maybe we can come up on defense with some looks that, that uh, might surprise him and catch him off guard. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm certainly hoping so. Yeah, and, and you're absolutely right. We will have some different uh, fronts. Uh, we'll even have some different personnel that will play for us this week so that we can um, – keep him a little off balance. But basically, Bubba, it, uh, you know, I, I've never been a big fan of gimmicks. Uh, my, my philosophy is hard nose. Uh, you go out and you beat your man down. Uh, you came up earlier before we start the interview and you told these young men and, and, and words of advice that when we get them down, we put our, our foot on the back of their neck. And that's basically what we've got to do. Yes, Dooley is familiar with our defense. We will have some new wrinkles that we will throw in there. But it's about playing man against man. It's about beating the man in front of you. And then if we can do that consistently, it doesn't matter if it's Coach Dooley. It doesn't matter if it's uh, who, whoever or whatever team it is. Uh, the thing that we've got to do is we've got to be able to run to the football. We've got to eliminate the big plays like uh, Mr. Rucker said. And we've got to also be able to tackle well. And uh, if we can do that, then I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't worry about what Coach Dooley is going to bring to the table. I just worry about what we do. And if we can take care of our business, then it's going to be a very, very good football game for us. And uh, I'll reiterate what you just, uh, my comments that you just alluded to. Uh, the game Saturday, I believe, is going to come down to who wants it more. That's a good point. Uh, Gremlin is playing their homecoming. They're playing with a perfect record in the swag. Uh, that's their motivation. We've got to have more motivation than that. We've got to want to take them out. Uh, we've got to put us, a, we, our motivation is to put a win uh, uh, in our win column, a one in our win column. Uh, and, and that is that level of intensity that you, you were alluding to. And I hope and I pray that all the boys will, will be there, will be in that zone. Uh, that will bring us a victory. Um, I, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think I don't think the intensity is going to be any less for them than it be for us. They, they've got something that they're playing for, which is to stay undefeated, to win their homecoming. That's that's a big task, and it's also a great motivation for them. Our motivation is to win our first swag game. As as we start this campaign, we've got six football games left. And it's, we're taking it one game at a time. And it's, the motivation for us is to win our first SWAC football game. So our motivation is just as important. It's not our homecoming. We're not at home. But it's, it's just as important that we win this first SWAC football game. And why not knock off the uh, number one team? They did it last week against uh, Alcorn. Alcorn was, was, was running away with it. Uh, Gramlin, of course, was, was undefeated too. But um, they, they went in it and they played well. So right. we, we, we want to win our first SWAC football game. And, and, and Coach, when it comes down to wanting it more, I want to cite an example of when we wanted it more. In 2012, in that championship game, late in the game, we were down. Back up in the end zone. Uh, 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 and then some kind of way, we pulled it out. We wanted that game more than they wanted. Yeah. And if we have that intensity, we will win this game. And that's my comment. Thank you. Thank you sir. Any more questions for Coach or the players? Yes, Mr. Stubbs. 
Tim Stubbs, uh, UAPB TV Sports, 89.7 KUAP. Uh, Coach, uh, talk about the young men sitting uh, to your right, uh, Marvante uh, King. Uh, talk about him a little bit. He's really emerged as a, uh, a pivotal player in your offense in the last few weeks. And I know you've been trying to give him more touches. And when he gets the ball, he's making big plays. Talk about him a little bit and how he's really emerged and kind of how he's part of the game plan now. Actually, Tim, I want to talk about both of these young men because uh, uh, the contribution they have with this football team right now. Uh, Mr. King, of course, we, we recognize his ability to play football early on in camp. And uh, it was just a matter of time him getting uh, involved in the system, the offensive system, and, and involved in the scheme of things. And I think that evolved in the uh, Alabama State game. Uh, we, we, we were losing that game, of course, but the, one of the bright spots was we were able to hit him on a long pass and uh, to watch him run with the football. We said, we've got to get this young man more touches. We've got to find a way to get him uh, engrafted into our offensive scheme. And Coach Jones and the offensive coaching staff was able to do that. And he hadn't looked back. He's made big plays after big plays. The other good thing about him, he can return kicks for us. Uh, Andre Mitchell is down right now. So we're relying on uh, Mr. King to come in and, and return kickoffs and punts for us. Now, the thing that uh, our opponents don't want to do is give him a step because if he get a step, then he has the speed to take it to the house. And we're real proud of him, very glad to have him with us. Now, he's, he's not a stranger. Uh, he's got a great bloodline for the ones that don't know. Uh, if I call a name Raymond Weber, it may bring back some, some, um, uh, some memories. Um, this is Raymond's cousin, correct? Cousin? Yeah. yeah, that's Raymond's cousin. So he comes from a great football family, and uh, he's going to do a lot of great things for us uh, this year and years to come. Uh, Mr. Rucker, uh, he alluded to earlier that he's a junior. Uh, a lot of young men in his situation right now could be pouting and not playing well for us, but he's actually could very easily be our unsung hero. Uh, he's a safety that we had to move to corner because of injuries. And actually, he's, he's doing an outstanding job playing corner for us. So we, we've got some, some bumps and bruises on the defense. Um, the defense is a lot younger than it has been in the past. We've got seven, a minimum of seven guys that didn't even play with us last year on defense. So there's a, a little acclimation period, a little growing pain period that we're going through. But to be able to move Kevin from, from uh, safety down to corner and him holding his own and playing very well for us to show that we do have character on this football team. And these young men understand the importance of working hard. They understand the importance of, 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 of playing hard. But we've, we've, we've kind of shot ourselves in the foot from a defensive standpoint over the past few weeks. But I, I truly believe that now we're going to catch our second win and um, start to win some football games. Absolutely. That's, that's all I have. Good luck against uh, Grambling Thank you. this weekend. Are there any more questions for Coach or the players? Yes, sir. Mr. Morrell. Coach, uh, can you give me a little bit of an injury report? You said uh, Mitchell is down. Uh, and what's going on with him? And uh, who else is down for you? Actually, Mitchell is the one that's down. Okay. Uh, and that's the, that's the position that Rucker is playing at the corner. Uh, he, he separated his shoulder in the uh, Jackson State game. And uh, he hadn't been able to come back as of yet. Uh, he is working it out, getting treatment from our head trainer, T.C. Shelton. And uh, it's just a matter of time. He will be back before the season's over. But for right now, uh, Ruck is playing that corner position along with uh, 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 White. And uh, that's how we'll, we'll line up come Saturday. We have a question in from Twitter. All right. The question is, this will be your team's second opponent's homecoming. Are homecoming games more of a motivation for a home team or the opposing team? That's a good question. I, I think it's both. I think it's um, more important for the home team. Uh, you, you, you'll have, or Gramlin will have a lot of alumni. They have a lot of family. They have a lot of friends that's going to be attending the game. 
Um, the thing that we want to do is we want to make their, their party afterwards uh, not a success. <laughs> we want them to, to go in with long faces after the party. Now, when we play our homecoming, we'll be playing Prairie View. Of course, we'll have a lot of incentive to win our homecoming. Uh, so to answer the question, I think that the home team um, uh, incentive to win the homecoming is, is greater, but it doesn't take anything away from us going in trying to upset them. All right. Are there any more questions? All right. Let's give Mr. Tony Dow a round of applause for letting us come to his establishment. Once again, we thank you for coming out and have a wonderful Golden Lion Day. Thank you.